with Bronny, I just I want to clarify one thing you just said, which is Rob and, and, and I did not give Bronny anything. The more J.J. Reddick talks, the less I respect what he has to say. It's something Bronny has always talked about, um, you know, and he's, you know, said I, we asked him plenty of times, like, what is what is your end goal? And his end goal is to, to be in the NBA. Bronny has earned this. Right. Bronny talks about his hard work. Bronny has earned this through hard work. Uh, we view Bronny as like case study one because his base level of feel, athleticism, point of attack defender, shooting, passing, there's a lot to like about his game. It's hard to imagine him getting drafted by the Lakers if his dad wasn't LeBron. LeBron and I did not talk about uh, the Lakers' job uh, until Thursday afternoon. Um, people probably think I'm lying about that too, huh? Um. Hey, listen, when it comes to J.J. Redick, I think his heart is in a good place. Like, he really wants, he really means well, and he wants to say the right things. Like, you know when you get a new job, like, you have that moment where you just feel like everything is like, oh, this job is great. Look at the atmosphere. Look at that coworker. Oh, this. Oh my goodness. Oh, they got more coffee. They got. They, oh, they got these kind of coffees. These kind of snacks in the office. But slowly, when all those things start to windle away, with the absolute horror that becomes after you actually get the job, you start working, and then you realize it's like every other job. And, and that kind of what, that's kind of what's going to happen when you become a head coach. You're going to realize once you get away from the honeymoon phase and you guys are in your first couple of months in the honeymoon phase and things get real relatively quick because we've seen LeBron James in a lot of situations with people he might like, with coaches, with players, with whoever. When it comes to the moment and things are not producing, He's quick to open the door and be like, hey, I'm not going to lie to you, sayonara. But it comes to a point now where when you sit on that podium and you just consistently lie blatantly, like at this point, just come on, just give us a, a, a nice lie. Give us a lie where you're not full-fledged just going into some chaotic lie. Just, you know what I mean? Hey, Bronny, like, we realize what it is. Like, slow, don't come in there and say Bronny worked hard for it. His dad is LeBron. This is nepotism, and it happens everywhere. You know what I'm okay with LeBron James getting drafted to the Lakers. It's a normal thing. It's good. Like, I feel like it should happen because it happens everywhere else. When you see somebody who does not deserve a job and probably has a high school degree getting... <laughs> Getting a job where you need six years of requirement because his uncle is the CEO, that happens. And that happens more often than none. But right now, it's just highlighted in the biggest platform in, in, in the United States of America. So when it comes to that, let's just, JJ Reddick, somebody just take his mic away and just tell him, you know what, for the rest of the summer, we don't want to hear from you. Because since he's been talking, he's just made, been making things worse. Hearing LeBronny talk, I feel like Bronny, he played enough 2K. I think he's answering his questions on a 2K level where he just presses the button and he answers every single question. So he's doing that superbly. So continue to let the, the young man answer those questions because clearly DJ Reddick is a little trigger happy and we need to... We need to tell him, yo, just put the mic down. It's not a podcast. Put it down. Come on.